Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. Today we are going to build a model for the Mission Moon where we turn our push robot into a nuclear fusion reactor where this is now a motorized control of the control rods and the nuclear reactor. So to get the push robot, we just went into uh, classroom projects ideas and scrolled down to number 10 which is where you find the push. We just followed the building instructions for this. This uh, next build does not have any building instructions because this is an original that I just came up with. So you can follow this tutorial to build it and then I'll show you the programming behind it. So the first thing is we're gonna need a control rod. And so I'm just gonna take a uh, one by two Technic brick. I'm gonna take my length seven. This is kind of the longer gray piece. And we're just gonna have it sticking out like this and then um, secure it in place by putting another one of these one-third yellow bushings on this side. Here's our control rod. We're gonna go ahead and put it right on the top of our push robot, just like this. So this is our control rod, which uh, controls the rate of nuclear fission in the nuclear reactor. When um, it's all the way in, that actually means that the reactor is off and they actually pull them out when they wanna start uh, nuclear fission. So now we need to build our little nuclear reactor that's going to accept this. So this is actually gonna come into a, another hole like here. So we're gonna kind of build it up. So I'm gonna start with two uh, two by six plates. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a one by two with the axle piece here. Uh, we're gonna take a um, length three, the smaller gray into a connector into a length 10. This is the, the longer one. And then this actually just kind of goes all the way in. And then this piece is, will eventually stick into this one here, kind of holding these two models in place. All right. So next I'm gonna take a whole bunch of uh, one by two pieces. Um, we use the rest of our pieces in our other model. So these are just gonna go across like this, kind of like this. Um, I'm gonna take my uh, one by twos and kind of stack these up. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna kind of um, be stacking some of these pieces up as they're, as they're going across. Okay. So these are like this, sorry. Okay, so again, we just kind of double stack these and put them right on top on either side. Okay, it's kind of our nuclear reactor. Who knows, this could be our reactor core. We're using our imagination here. All right, these pieces are gonna go across like this. This is gonna be the entry slot for the control rod in the front here. And then we're just gonna close it off. These are our, you know, heavy steel containment barriers. And then this gets pushed in on here. So as you can see, this is our control rod. When this pushes all the way forward, the control rod goes into the nuclear reactor. And then when we pull it back, it pulls out. Now, this doesn't always work, just because uh, you can see there's a lot of wobble and if it's, if it's off by a little bit and it pushes, sometimes it dips and it hits here, it doesn't always go right into the hole. So it's not a perfect model, um, doesn't always work. Hopefully it does in this video when I show you. Now here's the program for it. Um, we're gonna turn our motor uh, for one second. So it's gonna push forward and then it's gonna stop and then it's gonna change color and then it's gonna play a sound, and then it's going to wait two seconds, change color, and then pull out. Now, I have it a little backwards <laughs> because the control rod going in would stop nucle nuclear fusion uh, rather than pulling out, but it's just kind of more fun when it goes in and then you're like, yay, we're making power. I know it's backwards, but um, you, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> So I hit play, and it's going to insert the control rod, hopefully. Let's see what happens. I hit play, and there it goes. It went in. 
it's warning that, hey, it's coming out, light changes, and then it pulls out. And there you go. Hopefully you were successful in being able to build this representation of a nuclear fission reactor. All right, hope you're successful building.